Bloomberg is racist. That's the hashtag that's trending on Twitter. The practice of stop and frisk was unconstitutional. I think we disproportionately stop whites too much and minorities too little. President Trump tweeted, wow, Bloomberg is a total racist. You've been a Democrat, you've been a Republican. I know something about partisan politics, I've been them all. <laughs> I agree with the Republican values, and I'm very comfortable in running as a Republican, and I will stay a Republican long after this election. Ironically, I want to thank President Bush. The President deserves our support, and I am here to support him. Two thousand fourteen, Bloomberg spends three million backing Republican Governor Rick Snyder. Backed five Republican winners, including Snyder. Snyder, who was famous for destroying unions, but Bloomberg, major TV ad buy, held a fundraiser for Snyder. Bloomberg specifically backed him because he took on the unions. The part where we cut taxes for corporations made a lot of sense. The part where we cut taxes for individuals took away the money we needed for infrastructure. The part where we cut taxes for corporations made a lot of sense. The part where we cut taxes for individuals took away the money we needed for infrastructure. Hey Mike, say stop and Chris. People say, oh my God, you are arresting kids for marijuana that are all minority. Yes, that's true. Throw them against the wall and prison. During his tenure as mayor, the use of the practice increased sevenfold. During his time in office, the New York police recorded over five million stop and frisks. The vast majority of those stopped were black and Latino. Interestingly, while campaigning for president in 2016, Trump called for stop and frisk to be instituted nationwide. I think we disproportionately stop whites too much and minorities too little. According to the Associated Press, Bloomberg, who was being sued for sexual harassment, allegedly told one of his employees when he found out that she was pregnant that she should kill it. Are you upset that nearly 30 women have accused Donald Trump of sexual misconduct? Well, according to Bloomberg, those are rookie numbers. Are you upset about Donald Trump's ties to Jeffrey Epstein? Well, Bloomberg has ties to Jeffrey Epstein. Thrown against the wall prison. And today, incidentally, we are trying to legalize another addictive narcotic which is perhaps the stupidest thing anybody's ever done. We've got to fight that, got to fight that, got to fight. Legalizing marijuana is, uh, is something I certainly do not think is a good idea. To legalize uh, marijuana, well, medical, I, medical marijuana. Yeah, right, medical, Mike. But, come but on, hey, well, that's exactly I mean, it, the it's, point. There's no medical. This is one of the great hoaxes of all times. Drug dealers have families to feed. If they can't sell marijuana, they'll sell something else. And the something else is going to be worse. And the push to legalize this is just wrong-headed. We're going to turn now to the looming ban this morning on all supersized sugary drinks. New York City planning to outlaw sales of big sodas and other sweet drinks over a certain size in an effort to curb obesity. This is raising a lot of eyebrows. It really is. I mean, this is big. This is a dramatic measure. You know, the mayor is saying this is about helping people lose weight. The ban could prevent restaurants, delis, even movie theaters from selling sugar drinks larger than 16 ounces. Drinks in cups and bottles larger than that would be illegal. He says he's targeting the drinks because they're empty calories. Everyone's talking about it. I uh, know, but to say it's against the law? That's a little far. That is. That's really Where's the line? Where, where is it too have, far for government to go? I do not think we should ban most things. I do think there are certain times we should infringe on your freedom. There are certain times we should infringe on your freedom. We should infringe on your freedom. I think we disproportionately stop whites too much and minorities too little. It's time that America wakes up to the fact that this Republican is running as a Democrat to destroy the Democratic Party from within. He's not running to beat Trump. He's running to re-elect Trump.
no matter who gets the nomination, I don't believe it should be a billionaire oligarch who is able to buy his way into this campaign, who has a history of racism, transphobia, as well as classism. Mike Bloomberg has a lot to answer for, and he's not going to get away with this. And I think I can damage or, or destroy our country. And that is not someone who should be anywhere near the presidency. I don't think there's any question about that.